Hi, I'm Chris from Animoto, and I'm going to talk to you about one of the exciting things that you can do with your videos. Now, a lot of photographers have been telling us that their clients really love our videos, but many of them, especially high school seniors and the younger demographic, really want to be able to carry them around on their iPods and iPhones. Apple's range of touchscreen devices are perfect for showcasing videos, showing them to family, friends, clients. It's relatively straightforward to get your Animoto videos playing on these devices, so let's have a look at how we do that. You're going to need to have iTunes installed um, to follow this tutorial. If you don't, then you need to download it. You can get it from apple.com slash iTunes, and the URL should be shown on the bottom of the screen right now. So first of all, you need to download your Animoto video to your computer. You do this by going to your video's play page and clicking the blue video toolbox button under the video player. This brings up a panel full of actions that you can apply to your video. We're going to be going to the right hand column and selecting the file we want to download. This video has already been upgraded to high resolution, so let's download that. Click the download link and it'll be saved to your computer. Now you can follow these steps with the web quality copy, but if you're showing this video to clients, especially on um, a screen like the iPhone, then high resolution often looks the best. So as you can see, the file has been downloaded. Now, if your web browser didn't ask where you wanted this download to be saved, it's probably in the default location. On a Mac, this is your downloads folder. On Windows, this is usually on the desktop. Now that we have the video saved to our computer, we're going to import it into iTunes. This lets you customize how it appears before you send it off to your clients. So if we open up iTunes, we can select Add to Library from the File menu. Now we find the video that we downloaded, which I've put on my desktop, and choose it. You can also just drag the video straight to the iTunes window or icon, and the same thing will happen. Now the video should have been added to my library. If I click the Movies um, option on the left-hand bar, we can see it. As you can see, the name um, doesn't really look very friendly, it just corresponds to the file name which um, I had on my video. These are some of the things we probably want to change before we send the video out to our clients. If we right click on the video and select Get Info, this brings up a window where we can edit the video's properties. So if we go to the Info tab we can see all of the information about my video and we can edit it. So let's go ahead and give it a new title. I'm changing the title of the video, I'm customizing it to my client, and I'm also adding in the name of my photography studio to the artist slide. So, Okay, so we're almost done. Now we just need to go to the Artwork tab and give the video a cover image. This is a great place to promote your studio, so I'm going to drag over an image I prepared earlier for my photo studio. And again, you can just drag and drop on here, or you can use the Add button to, on the bottom left. Now, here you can use any image you want. Um, usually, I'd recommend using something at least 500 pixels square and something recognizable, such as your studio logo. If you click OK, your changes have been saved. So you can see now on my video, I'm seeing the studio logo highlighted in iTunes on the bottom left as well as um, some updated information. Now that you've added the finishing touches, it's time to give the video to your client. And here you have a few options. If you want to burn the video to CD to give to your client, then you can start by creating a playlist. So we select New Playlist from the File menu. So I'm just going to name this My Playlist. And then I'm going to go back to the Movies tab and drag my file into it. So you can see now when I go to the playlist, you can see my movie. Multiple videos can be added to your playlist, which can also be useful if you have several videos for a client or if you want to loop a few videos together for your own purposes. When you're done, just right click on the playlist and select Burn to Disk. 
insert a blank CD and away we go. If you just want to get the movie file out of iTunes to say email to someone or put on a website to download then just click on the file and drag it to your desktop. As you can see it's now appeared on my desktop with the cover image and the branding I added to the video. Once you've sent the video to a client it's very simple for them to get it onto their device. First they would need to add it to their iTunes library in the same way we did earlier. So they would open up iTunes and they can just drag and drop the file onto the application. You can see the video has now been added. Now they just need to sync it to their iPhone or iPod Touch. Just like what they do every day with music. It can be simpler. So I have my iPhone already connected to iTunes. I just go to the Movies tab and I select Sync Movies. You can see it's showing you can see it's showing the video I've just imported, so I just check to include it, then I check apply. The movie will just be copied onto my device. On the iPhone, your clients can just open up the iPod application, select the video category, and there it is, your photo shoot in the palm of their hands.